Uh, Lexa is commonly referred to as the weakest blade damage wise, even worse than most common blades. So I go find out how far you can get by only using her. The rules are pretty simple. The run starts when you can pull blades in chapter 2. I can only use Alexa in Val. I won't be using allies except in required sections. And I will be equipping thin sets to the one side on them once I kill them. Everything I will do on will be on normal difficulty. But for the sake of reducing grinding, I'd I'll be able to fight sound spells on any difficulty if I can complete them on normal first. Uh, Lexo has a few skills that will help us out in this silence. Sparky Girl, which counters any enemy attacks with evil damage. Playing a, playing a girl, which increases her block rate. And the iron wall, which prevents driver combos and heals by a percent of our max HP. Nutsuka, Jolly, and Spiral Surger in Argentum can provide a ton of art sweet cards, as well as the a bit stressed you can you got in chapter two due to the main story. But you can in this chapter you can obtain a damage heal one not score from the train criminal's quest. A few of the enemies can drop a fluffy hat, but there's a bit that's actually in the third chapter. Doodle and Morad were are pretty straightforward. You just have to heal up with Iron Wall whenever you hit half HP or when a strong move is coming. Any fights I skip over in this video will be beaten pretty easily with the strat. Once you're in chapter 3, you can skip over Van Damme with Zombie ho Hover to reach Fonzomimo early. strategy for them is to separate them from one another so that they can't combo into each other since Neo and Toil can easily survive at Kulsa's attacks I thought this was going to be the faster of the two phases Oh, my God. 
There we go. Okay. Now that was in Sam 2. For I no longer I can no longer use my allies as a safety net. It's time to fight everything solo. And Lila's a uh, immediate wall. See resist electric and it's real hard in singular attacks, making damage heal parts quite well. See, it's one of the major love, love blocks in this run due to our damage and the sudden removal of allies. So Chaka is pretty easy, so like so, take care of herself with your counter. But Mikhail has a similar problem as Lila, since his special is hit hard and his breath will heal him as he does it. So it's an AoE effect so you can use it as well. Overall, not too difficult, but requires some planning. Chapter 5 is quite easy since the only thing you really have to do is fight Zeke for the last time. And the only really difficult part is... This <coughs> is level 4 special song that thunders last. And it'll eat through your health if you don't use Iron Wall during it or part damage heal a ton. Now once we've reached Temple Answer, we can access the signing star chips via death code. Well, pulling for pulling blades for the test, I got a decent ether boosting blade. Power lines were pretty easy, but can be it can be a bit difficult to match the counter damage from it as well as healing. 
and a little bit of certain diamonds. Glenn's a uh, problem though. Since hopefully this up will kill you if you don't find wall or otherwise block it. And as well as him frequently lowering blade of fifty with skyward slats. Lowering your know, own three cards and damage. So, but uh, it comes back pretty simple. The trio fight in Tantal, however, is quite rough since Atos constantly heals the group, so you have to focus some down. And the weather claims a reduces the blade combo so you can't rely on damage over time effects. I went but first thing Mikhail then puts out the then the weather claims a then echoes to deal with this. They, they don't take too much damage. Now on to clips of Moifa. Malos is the first boss in the and the main difficulty with them is that you reduces your damage potential by constantly lowering blade of 30 and you using Monado armor. But even worse than him is the duo fight with Zen and Malus. So two of the strongest enemies. So you'll have to be prepared to have no thirty and have to guard against heavenly disrupt. Which can be difficult since having none removes arts three cards per second. The second phase of the fight doesn't really count for the run since you can't die to change your party or remove allies during it. And so, so start of chapter 8 to the end of Infernal Gordo, you can't even remove any party members. So you've got a bit of a safety net. Infernal Gordo is a well tough fight. Since once it enrages, it will take basically no damage and constantly heal. And so, so the elemental gas for Lexa is Sackle Driver which will stop you from using any of your arts. So basically the only way to beat it with Alexa is to tank through several elemental bombs. Given how slowly the Infernal Gordo fight went, We'll need some upgrades to our setup. ストライコ。やったじゃん。はい、私にもできました。ごめんなさい。まだまだですね。<笑> 
Now it's time for the final fights in the game. Turn them out first in Ion. Turn is extremely threatening for I run. Due to blade display dealing a ton of damage if healing if damage heal doesn't clock. Definitely disrupt potentially one find you if you don't clock it. And zero zone completely removing all her healing. So luckily, he for some reason never used Zero Zone, so the fight was pretty easy. Uh, Malthus, however. Was a surprising threat. His sacred arrow deals around 5,000 damage, so you need to stay above that most of the fight. But the main issue with it, with this fight, is that when he reaches half HP, his all attacks suddenly start dealing around 3,000 damage. But it's well rough when the max is only 10,000. Ion, however, is pretty straightforward. The artifacts to lots I aren't to issue at all. So you can just focus on them if you want. And Blizzard's no fight heal doesn't last long enough to cause problems. Especially if you remove the artifacts to lots I. Tyrant Buster can cause some decent damage to you, but you can easily just heal it off. That's be sure to have a chain attack for a level 4 special to dodge Prometheus, since you won't kill him before then.
and if you want to see the full run, there will be a playlist in the description.